Oh my gosh, it's finally Saturday. It's Sex Talk Saturday. I'm so glad it's finally Saturday. And I just wanted to say all the videos this week were great and I'm so excited to see more from you guys. My name is Caleb and I could kind of basically go on forever about my life, but that's not why I'm here. I am here to talk about sex. 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 Why talk about sex though? I mean, it's something that's very unspoken of. A lot of people are uncomfortable talking about it. So why discuss it? And my answer to that question is that I feel like people don't talk about sex enough. For instance, abstinence-only sex education has been proven not to work in high schools. The high schools that do choose abstinence-only sex education have a higher rate of teen pregnancy. Learning about sex at any age will lower someone's risk of contracting an STD or having an unplanned pregnancy. If someone doesn't know how to keep themselves safe, they're not going to do so. Presenting sex in a laid-back manner is a new experience for a lot of people. So when it comes down to it, where do they get their information from? How are they going to keep themselves safe? I've been educated at a sexual health clinic, went through 40 hours of training. Don't think that I'm gonna just be giving you all my opinions or giving you just what I know. I'm gonna do research and ask people. I'm gonna make sure that you are getting accurate information week by week. I want this to be interactive also. I want your guys' input. You can either message me on my YouTube account, which is over in the sidebar. It's not Caleb Cruzel or you can send me an email to notcalebcruzel at aol.com. Any questions you guys have about anything, I'm going to take all your questions and feedback and put them on Sex Talk Saturday. I will keep all questions confidential, so your name or email address will not be said on the channel at all. What I want to talk about is things that people might not know. Things to keep people safe. Anything you might learn in a health class. What's that sound? This week on Sex Talk with Caleb, I'm just going to give you a little extra information that you may not know about condoms. Now condoms are a barrier form of birth control. Now what is a barrier form? A barrier form is actually quite literal. Instead of blocking the egg from being released from the woman, it just blocks the sperm from getting to the egg. So the only way a condom can work properly is if sperm doesn't get past it. But if you don't follow the right steps or store the condom in the wrong place, it's very likely it won't work. Now condoms should not be stored in your wallet. The average body temperature is about 98 degrees Fahrenheit. Condoms should be stored at room temperature. If it's in your back pocket, then it gets heated way higher than it ever should. Condoms are the only form of birth control that also prevent against HIV and STD transmission. If you have any questions or concerns about condoms, check out the Planned Parenthood website in the sidebar. Wow, I magically changed my shirt. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to One Dose Daily this week. I really hope you guys keep watching for more daily doses. We'll see Gloria back here tomorrow for Super Miscellaneous Sunday, where we have a special guest every week. Again, thanks for tuning in. Have a great week and stay safe, guys. <laughs>